Once again to WWPT 90.3 FM, and as I said right there before the national anthem, we got a fiery rivalry here today. We got the Staples Wreckers, of course, facing off against the Greenwich Cardinals. I'm Charlie Scott, joined here alongside Cody Goldman. Cody, what are we expecting here today besides some ferocious competition? You know, uh, Charlie, I cannot wait for this matchup. Obviously, a huge rivalry, Greenwich and Staples. Everyone knows about it, but as far as the game goes, I'm really looking forward to that center matchup, too. Varsity captains going at it. Chris Zajac, obviously, we know all that he has done for Staples this year. And Dom DeLuca, the great football player, two, great two-sport athlete. He is 6'6". Six, six. Uh, Zajac is 6'8", so I'm really looking forward to that center matchup in the paint. 100%, and, you know, something to notice out here. We are we are in the Cardinal Den, or whatever Greenwich calls their yep. layer. 
the Greenwich student section is massive. I gotta say, it it. Is. I gotta say it yes. at the start. Staples student section over there with the jerseys is definitely smaller, but I would not underestimate Staples. Is Staples is a volume. Oh yeah. I definitely think oh they yeah. Can, they can and, bring the heat here in this game. And I and I know the the Greenwich fans are really excited for this game because we know. We beat them in football. We beat oh, them in yeah. rugby, just in the state championship in rugby, and, and obviously in the Turkey Bowl in football. So they are fired up for this game, 100%. and I cannot wait. Chris Zajac now lining up to take this take this tip off. He tips it off. Adam Carson is going to be the first one to get it for the Cardinals. At the top of the arc, he passes it inside to Brennan. Carson now once again at the top of the key. He's definitely the key player for the Cardinals here. For sure. Carson at the top now, corner, bringing it down into the arc, passing it off to Connor Parks. Connor Parks puts up the three, no good. Rebound by Zajac, off to Kukier. Sale now, taking it up for the Wreckers, crossing the half court line, the top of the arc, uh, over to Zajac at the top of the key now. Honig on the left side. Honig over to Rothenberger, switching the field, switching the court, excuse me here, used to that soccer. Sale inside to Zajac, Zajac posting up. He's gonna body through his man, put it up, no good. Rebound by Jack Quinn. Number 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 52 for the Cardinals. An enormous Jack Quinn is is just a body in the paint. Definitely, it's it's gonna be tough for uh, Zay Jack, and we'll see what he can do. Because yeah, he's you know for his height, he's he's maybe on the skinnier side, but you know 50. Yo yo. Zay Jack definitely Zajac, a skinnier. Yeah, Jack Quinn, Quinn is Jack Quinn is, not, is enormous. Yeah. Sale now taking it up for the Wreckers inside to the top of the elbow for Zajac. Roth Rothberg now into sale on the back corner. Kukier, excuse me, he puts it up, it's three, it's good. Kukier, three on the board for the Staples, the first three of the game. Kukier, we don't see that much from him, but what a shot to start it off for the Wreckers. They start off strong on the offensive end. 100% now. Number 52 with a travel there under the basket. Zajac, great defense from Zajac. Love what I'm seeing from from Zajac on the in the paint. Zajac is a absolute beast. He he's the tallest guy on the court almost pretty much every game I'd say for Staples. So it's gonna be big what, to see what he can do on the defensive end, especially Honig. with that lengthy. Honing to the elbow build. to Zajac. Zajac's gonna take it down. He gets stuffed by 52, and it's gonna be a foul. Wow. Well, you know it looked it looked pretty clean from here, but you know we're not down there, Coach. We're, we're yeah, way up yeah, in the stands. Jack today Quinn. Here. As, as we were saying, he is a body in the paint. So I think he's going to Zajac some competition. Oh, yeah, definitely. And whenever, whenever Zajac can get to the line, I think that's a, a win for him, especially uh, being a great free throw shooter that he Zajac is. Zajac puts it up, and it's good. Wreckers now with four on the board. 4-0, Wreckers leading with six minutes and 20 seconds left to go. Zajac gearing up. Greenwich student section extremely loud there. I haven't heard much yeah. of the Staples student yeah, section. Yeah, well, uh, we are close to the Greenwich student section, but point, obviously it is it is much bigger as we are in Greenwich, and we know we know their hype for this game. Xavion with a spin move on Honig up to the top of the elbow, puts oh. it up. That's too easy. Xavion, wow, Xavion, Xavion wow. facing. You know, <laughs> we don't we don't. I don't know if we see that much on the top of the key, but he got it done. Zajac in the paint now puts it up, and it's good. Two for Zajac. Staples now seven to two with six minutes left to go. Carson slowing down the pace of the game now as he takes it up to the Cardinal logo in the center. Carson guarded by Honig. Carson's going to take a drive in. He's going to take it all on his own. Puts it up, leaning back. No good. Zajac on the rebound, of course. Zajac sprinting down the field here for the Wreckers. Looks for an inside pass to Kukier. No good. That's going to be uh, It's going to be, looks like a kick ball maybe. Yeah, I like, I like how the Wreckers are playing Carson early on. Great defense there from Honig. Uh, you know, it's it's a great start. For, it's a great. Um, you know, it looks like they got a great game plan for oh, him, yeah. as they know he is their key player. Dom DeLuca checking in now. Greenwich fans happy about that. Honig on the inbound on the left side of the hoop puts it to Zajac. Zajac gets an and one. Zajac. Zajac off to a phenomenal start. Five points already. I'm sorry, six points already. Only three. Looking only three for, minutes in. Yeah. Not even two minutes. Six out of seconds. their first nine points. Getting to the line once again. Man, he is a, a beast. beast. He really is. Zajac lining up to take those free throws now. But as I said earlier there, Dom DeLuca has checked in. The Greenwich fans are hyped about that. Dom DeLuca is a big football guy as well. He was a captain for the football team. He's actually an all-state defensive end. As Zajac makes that 
makes that makes that free throw there, putting him up on seven points on the day within two and a half minutes. Popping off, as per usual though. Carson now at the top, taking it down into the corner, down now into the hoop now. Blocked, contested by Zajac. Sale with the rebound, taking it down for the Wreckers. Double teamed as he switches the court over to Honig. Honig back to Rothberg in the corner. Honig now slowing it down a little bit at the top, at the Cardinal logo. He swings it over to Sale. Sale, top of the arc, over to Kukier. Some good ball movement from the Wreckers here. Kukier inside to Zajac. Zajax looks like he's going to try and back up against his man. He's in the paint, though. He kicks it out to Kukier. Kukier drives in. Looks for Zajac. No good. DeLuca with the steal. Long possession for the Wreckers. Uh, that was great defense from the Cardinals as they, they shut him down. DeLuca puts up a two there, just barely on the line of a three. Zajac with a quick rebound, dishes it out to Sale. Coach Goldsor signaling to slow the game down a bit. Sale not quite listening. He's going to drive right in through well, Bennett for an easy layup. Cody Sale wow. just... You said it. He did not listen to Coach Goldshaw. He didn't it care what out. he said. He was on a mission on that play as he just took it to the basket, right to the rack. So he gets his first two points. Whalegum now, excuse me, taking it at the top. Sale on the guard. Over to Parks. Parks driving it down. Zajac with the stuff. No foul. Whalegum again back over to Parks. Parks fakes out Zajac. Quick drive to the hoop. Zajac with a rebound. We see that a lot from Chris Zajac. Oh he gosh. is a blocking machine, and I think we're going to see that. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Your guard oh, yeah. driving in uh, right to Zajac, that, that's never going to work. a smaller guy like Parks. Oh, yeah. Going up against Zajac. Honig's going to put up a three. No good off the back of the rim there. DeLuca with the rebound. Carson, once again, taking it up for the Cardinals. Definitely the point guard. Carson now looking to make some moves over to Fajian. Fajian back to Parks. Parks driving into the paint. Kicks it out to Carson. Carson with an easy layup. You can't, with there, Staples, you you can't, can't let, let that, that happen. happen. There's Adam Carson. He took advantage of the speed matchup against um, against Zajac, and yeah. he just he just got right to the rack, and, and that's big for him to get yeah. his first two points of the game. Carson definitely an agile player and the key player for, for the Cardinals. Sale now in the top left corner of Staples' half. Gold short. Really signaling that slowing down. He's got the, the hands moving this, up and down. Yep, Sale it, is listening. He's not really this listening. time he's, he's listening. Yep. Yeah. Zajac now with the ball, just holding on to it, keeping the pace slow. Wreckers up by eight. Two minutes and 40 seconds left to play in this first quarter. Sale over to Honig. Honig now looking to do some, some moves. He gets a spin move off on his man. He gets pushed. Push forward there. That's going to be an on the floor foul for the Wreckers. Looks like Wreckers got some subs coming in as well. Yeah, uh, great take from Honig though. I like what I see. Well, I like what I just saw there. Uh, Adam Carson was was guarding him way out in the perimeter, and he put a great spin move, drew the foul. So uh, that's good to see early on as uh, Adam Udell, Mason Tobias, and Sam Clacko check in. Oh yeah. You know, Adam Udell's definitely a big defense guy, and I think with a guy like Carson yeah. up top, he's going to lock him up. Mason, Udell. interesting, Mason Tobias, we don't see him. Yeah, Caleb. Caleb Smith, Caleb, yeah. Caleb Smith, we usually see him going in there, but well, this time, yeah. Mason, Mason Tobias. Yeah, over there. Mason Looks Tobias like, is, is going in. Oh, yeah. That's definitely an interesting move from Staples. Though. Staples is moving around the ball here. Oh. Clacko down low, kicks it out to Caleb, over to Tobias. <laughs> Now Sale. Sale back out to Clacko. Clacko, the sharpshooter, drains the three. Excuse me, Caleb is in the game, yeah. but what a shot from Sam Clacko. He is the sharpshooter for the Wreckers, oh, yeah. and great to see him getting that confidence early on. Big, huge first shot from Clacko right after he checked in. 15-4 to four, the Wreckers now with about less than two minutes here. Carson now at the top for the Wreckers. He's going to drive it. Excuse me, the Cardinals drives it in. Gets a foul there off that. Wow, Wreckers are off to a hot start. 15 to 4. Oh, yeah. They are just firing on all cylinders on the offensive end and the defensive end. And the student section for the Wreckers is growing it, as well. It is growing. They got the jersey, the jersey, uh, the jersey team. Theme. I like that, yeah. Greenwich inbounding now on the right side of the hoop. That's Maloney. Maloney's going to give a long pass out to Fajian at the top of the arc. Maloney now back in the corner, the right corner, up to Carson. 
Carson drives it in down the left side, looking for DeLuca, intercepted by Zajac. Zajac's gonna dart down the court now for the Wreckers. Zajac over to Smith. Caleb Smith, a huge QB for the Wreckers this year for football. Yep. Had to mention that, Udell now at the point. Hey. Udell off to Clacko. Clacko with a drive in, over, dishes it off to K Smith. Smith with a battle for the ball. That's gonna go in the Greenwich direction after that jump ball. Looks like Ashley going in the in the uh, Wreckers possession. Oh, but wow. Yes. Um, I mean, I heard some as, cheers from the Wreckers. Yeah. From the well, I, I think they like. like they were a yeah. Jump the gun on that. Also, we see another guy that doesn't get that doesn't get very many minutes, but a great athlete, Will Hallman, is oh, also yeah. in the game. He's coming off a shoulder injury. It's great to see him see him in the game. I, he actually makes a huge impact for the Wreckers. He's a tough guy. Smith for three. No good. Air ball there for Smith as Clacko looks to recover, and it's going to go out for the Wreckers. Clacko with a nice play there as the ball was going out. He kind of hit the ball off Fajan's leg, and it just went out, and that's going to be the Wrecker ball. You love to see that from Clacko as the fans are screaming air ball, but you love to see that from Clacko, that hustle. Yeah. You know, that's great to see, especially from a he freshman. He's Remember, he's a freshman. That's incredible, uh, the, that's amount of, the, amount of, yeah, the amount of talent he's got already. Zajac now over to Clacko. Into, into Rothberg, out back to Zajac. Zajac driving on the left side. He puts it up for two. Good. Zajac popping off today. Parks now dishing it off to Maloney. Maloney guarded by Clacko on the left side of the arc. Maloney's going to drive down low. He's going to get a travel there. Great defense for Will Holland. Great defense once again. Like I was saying earlier, Will Hallman does make a huge impact on oh, the yeah. court. When he is on the court, he, he makes an impact. And he's a great defender. Very athletic as we see. And that's just great to see. Clacko now. Back to Rothberg. Rothberg taking it up for the Wreckers. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. 17 to 4 for the Wreckers. Rothberg now looking to increase the pace here. Over with Adele. 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 Some great defense from Wilgum there. Udell eventually is going to lose that ball. Looks like it's going to be a foul, though. Yeah, I mean, man, Chris Zajac. If, if, you, ha if you can't say enough about him, you, re you really can't say enough. I mean, he's, he's dominating this game so far. But the Wreckers overall have been playing phenomenally. 17-4. to four. Chris Zajac, an early nine points. It's incredible. Holloman now. At the Cardinal logo. Dishes it off to Zajac on the right side. Zajac back to Udell. Back over to Clacka. Looks like we got a 2-3 zone from the Cardinals here, and it's going to work out for them as Maloney gets the steal, but time runs out. First quarter's over. We got the Wreckers at 17, the Cardinals sitting at 4. Cody, what are we seeing for both teams? Wreckers are absolutely controlling this game from both offensive and defensive end, they have been they have been holding their the uh, the Cardinals' best players to they've been shutting them down. Adam Carson just two points, Xavier Fa Xavier Faison just two points. So the Wreckers are are playing just great basketball right now. They've and they've been they've they've been sticking with their bread and butter. They've been just getting it into Chris Zajac and he is doing his thing. I I love what I'm seeing from the Wreckers so far. It looks like they got a great game plan for these for these Cardinals. Yeah, I mean. You know, I don't want to say it wasn't expected because, I mean, but I also got to say that. Because it really yeah, wasn't. I, mean, I mean, I was look, expecting a really there, close game. And and I think that, that Ridgefield game last week, that really got them prepared for, for an true. environment like this because we know those Ridgefield, those Ridgefield fans were going crazy. That was a huge game. And for them to pull yeah. out the victory in that, that was just huge for the Wreckers. And once again, we see a huge student section, and it, it just has not phased them Doesn't so matter. far at all. They, they did look a little shaky in the, in the start of that Richfield game, but I just haven't seen that yet. Yeah, I mean, you got to bring back the student section again. I mean, Staples, while yeah, definitely I, smaller, I think I've heard more from that's, Staples that's than incredible. I have from, yeah. from the Cardinal section. And, and that just shows, as Andy Cerrito and Aiden Parn said last week, Staples basketball is back, man. And oh, yeah. these fans, these fans know it. They are, they are. I think they have, they have made a bit, a, a, a bit of an impact as well in this game. Game back underway now with Parks on the right side at the top of the arc. Parks guarded by Udell, dishes it off to Maloney. Maloney plays a pass inside to Staple. That's Elliott Staple, not to be confused with Staple's the team. Elliott Staple puts up a shot. It's good. Three points for Elliott Staple. I'm going to keep calling him Elliott just to avoid the confusion. <laughs> yeah. There. 
But that was a big shot for the Greenwich, Huge. For the Greenwich Cardinals. Start of the second quarter. That's a, that, that is a big momentum booster for them. Definitely. It's scored now 17-7, 30 seconds into the second quarter. Adam Udell now with the ball at the elbow, dishing it back out to Kukier. Kukier at the top of the arc. Over to Sale. They're high press here from the Cardinals. As Sale puts it inside to Zajac. Zajac gets a foul on the floor. Seen that a few times. Yeah. You know, the Wreckers driving in and they, they've been they've been drawing the fouls. So that's that is good to see. Udell now with the inbound on the right side of the hoop here. Wreckers in a box formation. Looks like they have that play that they run every time. Udell rainbows it up to Zajac. Zajac dishes out to Rothberg. Rothberg for three. No good. Maloney now with the ball, bringing it down for the Cardinals. Maloney drives it into the hoop with a fillet layup. No good. Rebound by Zajac. Wreckers now darting down the court. Sale puts one up for two. Little short there. Cardinals now with the ball. Slowing it down once again. You can see that a lot from the Cardinals, but I'm not sure if it's quite the move. I mean, yeah, I don't that? know. You also see on the defensive end, they are, they are high press up, up yeah. uh, by midcourt. So interesting uh, game plan they got. But well, Maloney, a little miscommunication between Brennan there. But Parks is going to put it inside to DeLuca. DeLuca v. Zajac, that's the matchup we've been looking for at the start It of is, game. yeah. And so far, Zajac is absolutely dominating oh, that, yeah. that matchup. As he, he has gone against Jack Quinn as well. And... It, it just looks like for the Cardinals, they just look phased. They really do. They haven't, they have not been able to yeah. uh, get the ball inside to their their big men, and they just they just haven't been able to do much on the offensive end. And you know something else I see here is that I feel like Staples' defense hasn't really proven itself a little bit. I kind of feel like the the, the Cardinals' yeah. offense hasn't really been playing as well as well as they could. Uh, whereas the Staples' offense absolutely yeah. popping off. Yeah, but you, you still do got to give credit. Oh, I'm to the, definitely to, giving yeah, credit to, to both the teams. Staples' defense, Staples but yes, defense. Yeah, but I do feel Cardinals like Cardinals' definitely been a little sloppy. Been a little weak. Definitely been a little, been, weak at the definitely top. Been a little sloppy. Some missed passes. Some, yeah, some definitely. short shots. Um, but I'm looking forward to see some from Deluca. I mean, he's definitely. a big football guy, well-rounded athlete. You know, and I just really want to see him go against Ajax. You know, just for the fun of it. I want to see some. I want to see some some boards from the both. Oh of them. yeah, definitely. And another one of the the Grinch key players, Matthew Maloney. He he has not gone off, gotten off to a great start either. So um, you just got to give credit to the Staples defense. Yeah, hundred percent. We got a timeout now from the Wreckers. Forgot to mention that when the timeout started, <laughs> it was a full timeout. And uh, as the time takes down, we're about to get back underway here. Wreckers coming out with the same lineup they started with. That's that's Kukier, Smith, Udell, Sale, and Clacko. I feel like this is a big uh this yeah. is a, this is a smaller lineup. Oh, excuse oh, me, actually. Yep. Kukier's Zajac gonna step out and you don't Zajac's see that very gonna much. pop in. Zajac, yeah. Zajac has plays plays easily the most minutes um, for the Wreckers. Twenty six point eight minutes per game. That's out of more than thirty two. And that's and crazy. Also you gotta think about they've blown out a lot of teams as well. Yeah. They've blown out a good amount of teams. And so he hasn't obviously played that um, full amount. But last week, uh, uh, excuse me, against Greenwich, he put, as there's a travel yeah. from Cody Sale. Dell had a quick in drive the into the paint. He dished it out to Sale. Sale just lost his pivot there. Yep. As I was saying, though, Zajac played the entire game against New Canaan. So that just shows An athlete. what type of player he really is. Yeah. Definitely got that stamina from that as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, Maloney now for the Cardinals. Kicks it back out to Fajan. Fajan at the top left of the key here. Driving down. Puts it up. No good. Rebound by DeLuca. DeLuca puts one up and he gets fouled by Zajac. There's that matchup there, we've been There it for. is. There's something we haven't seen yet is that that matchup there. And finally, Dom DeLuca gets the better of Zajac. I'm he seeing finally, some smack talk too out there. Board. Yeah, <laughs> I see that as well. That was a crazy rebound. I got to point yeah, out. That was like a moss. Yeah. That's totally. What saying. He he's, reached right he's, over Zajac. He's an extremely athletic guy, and, and I think that's they're going to need that in this game if, they're, if they want to win. Yeah, DeLuca misses that. Yep. Of course, the student section. Get in his head. They're getting his head. Yeah. I think maybe Zajac got in his head a little bit there as well. <laughs> 100%. And that's huge in games like these where you got Definitely. the big school rivalries. Get it in the head. That's all that matters. Student section right next to him as well. Yeah. Oh, another miss from DeLuca. He's 0-2 for three free throws today here as Honig is going to get the rebound. Take it down for the record. It's an inside pass to Zajac. Zajac is fouled on the way up. That's, he's going to shoot for two. 
Yeah, looked like a little frustration from DeLuca as well, as, as it was a good foul. Nonetheless, though, Zajac was wide open as the fans screamed, you can't do that. But, yeah, that is, I think they really just got in his head there. Oh, yeah. Tom DeLuca missed those. I don't know if he's the best free throw shooter, but. Zajac? Yeah. No, no, DeLuca. DeLuca. But, yes. Well, definitely not. He's over yeah. two right now. I yeah. mean, come on. And Zajac, meanwhile, Zajac on the other hand, he's a great he's free throw shooter. I think shooter. he's, I think he's three, uh, three for three. Three for three. Or four yeah. for four. Yeah, either, he had an either, one either well. way, yep, either way, he is perfect in the line. See, and puts it that's, up. there's the announcer, Jinx. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Carson taking it down now over to Fajan. Fajan for three. It's good. Drills it down, and the Greenwich student section goes crazy. Definitely a momentum builder. Definitely. And <laughs> we see the Greenwich, 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 Greenwich student section trying to get as loud as they can. It's still not out of the few Yeah, yeah, the few shots they have made thus far, though. It is, it is an eight-point game, though, as Hona gets fouled. Yeah, eighteen to ten, Rutgers yep. leading. Five minutes and twenty seconds left to go within this first half. Play right there. I mean, you had you had Honig drove in in the middle. He got tripped up a bunch, and it looks like the Wreckers have a bonus. So it's going to be one and one here. So any foul yes. anywhere on the court, the Wreckers are going to earn themselves a free throw. Honig getting himself one. Right now, and if he makes it, of course, he gets his second one. Yes, Honig, a great free throw shooter on the season. As the the, it looks like, yes, once yes, again. once again, but it looked like the student section got in his head maybe a little bit there. He looked at, yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely, I mean, definitely a little bit. You know, basketball is really different from football with getting in the head. I mean, it is, yeah. Look, there's we, got maybe, a, we got a closed arena, so oh, yeah. you can hear him a lot better. Plus, I'd say Honig's and, like, what, 20 feet from the Greenwich student section? I was yeah. taking that free throw. I mean, yeah. they're right there. Carson now Definitely. taking it up for the Wreckers. Haven't seen much of him this game as he dishes it off to Park on the left side. Park's going to drive it into the paint here and have to dish it back out to uh, Carson. Now now Elliott. Back to Wilgum. Wilgum with a pass. Honig steal. Honig going to take it down to Clacko and a whistle oh. on the play. The, yeah, Greenwich caught yeah. a break there. As, you know... You, you can't staple past it right to right to Honig. Actually, after he, he got a, a, a very good screen on him, but not sure, just uh, just the sloppiness once again from the Cardinals. Caught a break there, though, with that travel. Carson now once again taking it up for the Cardinals at the top. Setting the play here as he dishes it off to Elliott. Elliott, the big man now in the play. Contested by Zajac as the shot goes up. No good. Sale. Taking it up for the Wreckers once again on the left side. Zajac to Honig. Honig's going to whip it around the arc here. Clacko at the top. Now Sale over to Honig in the corner. Honig's going to take it through the elbow up to the top. He's going to get pushed down. It's going to be a foul. One and one. Once Honig's going to shoot once again. We'll I'm see. not going to say anything yeah, about his we're chances not say anything. because we know the announcer jinx might get him. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But once again, like I was saying, he is, he's doing a great job drawing oh, yeah. fouls. And, and he's been uh, very aggressive this game so far, which I love to see. Honig getting ready to shoot his shot here. 18 to 10, Wreckers. Four minutes and 20 seconds to play. No good again from Honig. That's 0-2 on the day. Very, very unhappy with that. Yeah. Station. Now the top left of the key driving in. Looks like a reaching foul there on Smith. Looks like maybe once again the student section might have gotten in Honig's head. Yeah. But, you know, he is a great free throw shooter, and you don't see that very often, missing two in a row. Yeah, I mean, well, you do see that from Dom DeLuca, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Maloney now, number 23, driving into the elbow, stopped by Clacko. Some good defense by Clacko, locking him down. Over to Parks. Parks is going to drive in. He's going to get past Smith, put it up, contested by Zajac, though. No good. Holloman with the rebound. Taking what? it up for the records. Maloney with the high press. Almost steals it from, from Smith and Holloman there. Not quite Ooh. as Holloman's going to take it down, dish it out to Zajac. Zajac to Sale. Sale wide open for three, and it's no good off the back of the rim. Would have been a crazy play. Sale's going to have a second chance, and, and it's good. What's the same spot? Got it. Got another chance, and he took advantage there. What a shot from Sale. He just needed a practice round there for, yeah. his, for a shot. As Maloney now over to Fajan. Fajan for three, trying to replicate Sale. No good. 
Zajac, of course, on the rebound. Sale trying to speed the game up here as he drives it down into the court. And blocked! Zajac absolutely stuffed by Fajan. Fajan with a quick turnaround. Gred is going for the counter with Maloney. Now Parks driving down. Sale with the contestion. No good. Zajac rebound. Crazy block from Fajan wow, in there. Wow, did the student section go crazy as Hallman dishes it out to Clacko in the corner. He drives in, gets Clacko's fouled. Clacko's going to draw that foul. Great play yeah, by Clacko. Great play from Clacko. That fake got him there. And... Every, they know he's a sharpshooter, so great use of the ball fake 100%. and drawing the foul there. But, wow, did this student section go crazy when... <laughs> when I uh, mean, look, that was a crazy when, block. Rightfully so, you know? Yeah, when Fajan got that block, but... Clacko puts one up, and it's in. Of course, the sharpshooter, we were expecting of that. Wreckers doing some substitutions now. DeLuca back into the game. Clacko take, gearing up to take his second shot now. Puts it up, and it's good. Two for two there for Clacko. As expected. Clacko, as expected. The sharpshooter, he is, he is the freshman sensation of this team. Oh, yeah. It's incredible what he is, how, he, how he has contributed to this team only as a freshman. Fajan driving in. Takes a shot from the free throw line, 15 yards, 15 feet out, excuse me. That's that's Fajan right there on that basket. Great play. Look, yeah, Fajan, once again, it looks like he, 34. Might have changed his number <laughs> up a little changed bit. Changed his number. Yeah, that's interesting, but. Maybe he didn't again, clean the number four jersey or something. <laughs> yeah, and he had maybe to switch it out for the number 34, but. Yes, but um, we saw that early in the game, that uh, little drive to the elbow, banked it in twice. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if he called Bank, but nonetheless, it went in. and uh, Bank is open. Bank is open. You know, the bank is always open in the game because it's, it's going in. Unless it's, it's Sunday. On the <laughs> Unless it's Sunday, yep, but it is Friday, so they'll count that one. Friday the 13th, actually. It Hopefully none Friday of these teams the are superstitious yes. or else. Yes. Maybe Greenwich is a little superstitious. Maybe that's why they're maybe. down by 11. Maybe, yes. Doesn't look like Staples is, though. Definitely not. I mean, Staples <laughs> up 23 to 12. Yeah. Two minutes, 43 seconds to go. Timeout now on the court. Looks like we're about to get back on our way here. Great game so far. I mean, besides Staples, I mean, it's definitely not close, but it's definitely been exciting nonetheless. Definitely, definitely. I mean, we know this rivalry is always going to be exciting. It's always oh, yeah. going to be an exciting game. These fans are always going to be loud and just very exciting thus far. Rothenberg taking it up. For the records. Off to Clacko. 1 2. Rothberg. Clacko. Rothberg's going to get it stripped. DeLuca with that steal, towering over Rothberg. Some good defense from DeLuca there. Yeah, some good defense, but I like that, that, that pass, one, though. That, yeah, that, that little great. cut. It was open. Unfortunate, though, for the records to get it stolen. As it is records ball, though, Honig is going to inbound. Oh, yeah. Honig in the inbound. Records all lined up along the blocks. Honig's going to give a Long pass out to Clacko. Back to Sale. Sale on the right side now. Now moving it up to the top. Clacko on the left. Sale back to Clacko. Clacko for three. No good. Just barely missed that one there. Fasia now taking it up for the Cardinals. A little behind the back dribble there on Honig. Maloney now crosses up uh, Rothenberg, but he gets stopped by Zajac. That 2-3 zone from Staples yeah. is huge when you have Zajac in the middle. Definitely. It has been paying off for them so far in this game also. I mean. As, as they have been shutting down Greenwich thus far. I mean, you have these two speedsters up top. you got Clacko yep. and Honig just chasing down every ball. And it, then the second they might get past them, Zajac's right exactly. there. Exactly. Swatting their, them their down. Their personnel is just perfect for that 2-3 zone for sure. Oh, yeah. As Caleb, so, Caleb Smith subs in now for the Wreckers. Fajan with the inbound left of the hoop. Off to Maloney. On the left. Parks now. Top of the arc. He's going to drive into the paint. Quick dish out to DeLuca. Let's see if DeLuca can shoot. He cannot! <laughs> Air oh ball from DeLuca. Goodness. Nothing but net, but smiling. not in. He knows it. He knows he should not have shot that. <laughs> My goodness. I'm sorry. Wrecker uh, fans was, tell him to get yep, out of here. The Wreckers are loud right now. As uh, safe to say that wasn't his best shot. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he missed two free throws Point earlier, range, so low-key. Once was again, though, Zajac looking like he is manipulating that shot. 
Yeah. I mean, Staples is definitely into Luca's head right now. Definitely. You know? And uh, Maloney now at the top, driving down wide open, a little fillet layup, and it's good. Great move by Filoni. Great move by, move by Maloney. Maloney. Yeah. As he finally gets on the scoreboard, one of the key players yeah. for the Greenwich Cardinals. I think that might be big to see for his, for his confidence. Maloney, you know. just a sophomore. Klacko now at the elbow, dishing it out to Kukier, who recently subbed in. Kukier off to Zajac. Zajac backing up into Deluca. Zajac with a quick kick out to Klacko. Klacko gets by Fajian, puts one up. Zajac puts it up again. Wow. Staples not capitalizing, but Fajian capitalizing off to Maloney. Maloney puts it up. No good. Staples now with the counter. Sale taking it down with speed. He's going to look for a layup. No good. It's going back again towards the Staples side. Deluca. No good on the layup. Zajac rebound. Oh, my goodness. Just, Coleman. Just a scene of missed layup back and forth. Clacko finally, it's slowing, finally it down. slowing it down. Wow. My goodness. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that in basketball. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> any whole, game of basketball. Maybe 45, Dom 30 DeLuca. seconds back and forth. I don't know about that from Dom DeLuca. He's running down the court. But he looked like he had a man to pass it to. Yeah, Matthew Maloney did have a great shot. We got some Greenwich fans yeah, asking us to say that on yeah. air for some reason. <laughs> but he definitely had a great shot there. That was some crazy basketball we just saw. Some back and forth. Crazy. Back and forth. Some chaos right there. One minute left. He finally Rutgers. throw it down. Rutgers up by nine with one minute left. Holloman now on the right side of the key. Holloman pushes off his man. Clacko puts up a three and it's good! Wow! A little bit wow. of a charge there from the from the Cardinal player, but no call. Holloman dished it off to Clacko. Clacko just puts it up. Easy money. Kuki are now driving it down for the Wreckers once again after a missed shot from oh. Maloney. Holloman just barely saving that from going backcourt after a missed pass. DeLuca with the steal. Let's see if he can capitalize on his previous mistakes. He's going to give an inside pass. Looking for Brennan, no good. Oh my, just a, a, a double doink of turnovers right there. But back to that play, Will Holloman, once again, the, we see the impact he has for this Staples yeah, team. As he, it looks like he has been playing much more in this game um, than previous games, and it has been paying off for the records. And I got a question. Why is DeLuca a captain? Respectfully. I mean, he's missed all his shots. He's yeah. like, had a few like horrible passes. Either way, Parks is going to get a steal there off the record basket. Dish it off to Maloney. Maloney. Going the other way. It's going the other way. Wow. An offensive foul from, couldn't tell that was. That was Holloman. Either, Holloman was Holloman, a great play. Holloman drawing the charge, yes. I, I believe it was either Connor Parks. I think that I was uh, that might Maloney. Have Maloney or Parks there. They both kind of had the ball. Parks. Yep, couldn't quite tell, but they wave off that basket. Six seconds on the clock. Wreckers up by 12. Sale with a high press on him as he's going to take it down towards the record side. He's going to put up a two. No good. And that's going to be halftime. Cody. Ooh, take a second to catch our breath. For real. I mean, that was some crazy, crazy gameplay. We had yes. probably a minute of literally just and, players and sprinting crazy. down the court. <laughs> yeah, crazy gameplay with not even very much scoring. Really? So, yeah, that's a good point. Greenwich only 14 at the half. That's, you know, that that's not that's that's a credit to Staples defense. Yeah. That's that's not very many points. And Staples 26, not as many in that second quarter, but still a great game thus far for the Wreckers. And yeah, you know, I, mean, I like what I'm seeing. I, I am too. Wreckers 100% just controlling the game. Um, but yeah, we'll be back here in just about uh, nine minutes. For uh, the second half of the record game, Cody, you got anything to say before we send it back to Ben Enos in the studio? Yeah, I gotta say, record's still controlling this game, but Cardinals are still without a doubt in this oh, game. Oh, 100. I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what Adam Carson can do in the second half. Not a great first half. Yeah. Just those two points. He really is the key. He is the, he is their best player. Granite's best True. player going into this game. It was, he was all the talk. Same with Chris Zajac, but. Not a, not a great game thus far, so I'm excited to see what he can do, as well as Chris Zajac keeping it up and Cody Sale for the records. You know, while we haven't seen that, Carson, we definitely have seen Fashion step it up. He's definitely. got, he's got I think, like six seven, or nine points. Seven, seven points, points. Yeah. yeah. I mean, The majority, half of the points. Half the points. <laughs> half of the points for Greenwich. Yeah, he's popping up. 
So yeah, we're going to send it back to Ben Enos of the studio. Thanks for listening here on WWPT 90.3 FM. We'll be back in about nine minutes.
first half. And that first quarter, Staples completely dominated that first quarter. But second quarter, a little bit different. Staples yeah. still up 12, 26 to 14. But I think we, we, we saw a little bit more sloppy. For, uh, it was a little more sloppy from the Staples records yeah. in that second quarter. But nonetheless, still up 12, playing great. And, of course, Chris Zajac has been leading the charge for the records. Ten points already, along with Sam Clacko with set, with eight. So them, those yeah. two those two guys have been leading the charge for the records. 100%. And, you know, Fajin all the way, or Fajin all the way for the Cardinals has been carrying them. He's got, I think, seven of their seven points. Seven points, yeah. Half of their points total. I mean, they only have 14 right now. But the game is back underway with Carson at top. Carson. Plays it into Quinn, who just subbed in for DeLuca. DeLuca had a horrible first half. Face it, wow, Carson, excuse me, with a crazy under the hoop layup. Wow, pass from Quinn. Grind off to a great start for the first half, or second half. Like I said earlier, Carson needs to get going in the second half, and right there, he finally got his, got his fourth point of the game, and that is great to see for the Cardinals to start off the half. Zajac now. Off to Rothberg, Rothberg for three, it's good! Uh, drills it from deep, Rothberg starting off Staples good. I was about to say, you know, yep. Greenwich might have this momentum. But Staples answers right back, oh, yeah. of course, Gavin Rothenberg. And Fajan looks for three there, no good. Zajac with the rebound, quickly passes it up court to, uh, to Honig. Honig now to Sale. Sale driving in, nobody in his way, easy layup for Sale. Classic Cody Sale right there. Just getting right past the defense. Easy money for Cody Sale. Oh yeah. Fasia now driving in at the elbow. Rothberg takes a charge. No call there. Fasia goes up two points for the, for the Cardinals. Great play from Fasia. Some great, great offensive play power. from Fasia as he has, he has essentially been their whole offense like I said before. Trying to draw the charge but could not successfully with Zajac. Zajac over to Sale. Sale now driving in once again. He's going to get fouled on his way up there. That's Carson with a foul. Once again, though, yeah. Cody Sale, he is, he is just sticking to his bread and butter, driving the basketball, drawing the foul, doing and, you a know, great job so far in the this, this second half. We didn't see that much in the first half, though. Yeah, and, you know, Cody's a great free throw shooter. And great all around Don't want to give him a broadcaster jinx, of course. Oh, yeah. But we'll see if he makes these two, and he and will he make it. the first one. But yeah, you know, we yeah. see number 52, Jack Quinn, out there for the Cardinals instead of DeLuca. And he actually started the game before DeLuca kind of subbed in yeah, for him. it's interesting. We really only saw him on that uh, those first few minutes, maybe. And DeLuca went in, but starting off the second half as Sale misses the second. Misses the second, yeah. Fasia now taking it up for the Cardinals. That's now Brennan in the corner. Back to Quinn. Quinn puts it up. No good. Kukier on the rebound, taking it in the other way for the Wreckers. Sale inside pass to Zajac. Zajac on the block, stuffed by Fajan, but Zajac's going to recover, kick it out to Kukier. Kukier's going to drive in, put it up, no good. Cardinals like now. The, I, yeah, I like the aggressiveness, though, from Kukier. 100%. Driving the basketball. He's definitely a big guy out yeah. there. He's definitely, he's definitely yeah, underrated he's, for his size. He looks a little small, but he's definitely, definitely got some strength. Definitely. Without Fajan a doubt. now. At the top of the arc, he's going to step back, put it up for two, good. Fajan, another great offensive play. He drove in, stepped back, put it up, and he drained that two. Put two on the board for Fajan right there. Fajan, once again on the offensive end, he's starting off this ha second half strong. A little stumble there from Honeg as he plays it to the elbow to Zajac. Zajac's gonna, just going to drive in and get an and one foul. Bread it's, and it's butter too for Zajac. Easy. It's just too easy for Chris Zajac. The and one right there. Just sticking to his bread and butter. He's he's just playing absolutely phenomenal. And and it's no surprise. You know, Zajac is a big guy, and typically from the big guys, you don't see much much free throws. You don't see him making and, a lot of free throws. But I feel like Zajac's definitely good on the Oh free yeah, throws. and he he's very agile for his size as well. We Great job driving the basket as he does make that free make throw. That free throw. It's huge for a big guy to have those free throws because they get fouled at Definitely. Time. And as Parks is going to take it up now. Parks over to Fajan. Fajan now down to Quinn at the block. Quinn back to Fajan. Intercepted by Kukier. Kukier takes it down. Rothenberg on the block. And it's good. Rothenberg, easy layup. Some great counterattacking from Staples there. 
for sure. Great steal from Kukier. Just anticipated that pass perfectly. Great to see from, from Ethan Kukier early on in the second half. Fasia now dishing it into, into Quinn. Quinn with a little stumble there as he kicks it back out to Parks. Intercepted by Honig. Honig's going to take it down. Quick pass to Sale. Great play from Honig. I love to see that. You know why? Because Honig wasn't selfish there. Definitely. Big team player. He, he could have taken up the, the right layup for himself. He, he dished it off to Sale. Yeah, and once again, almost mirror images of each other. Same exact steal and finish for the Wreckers. Great anticipation there. They're from, um, Zay, they're from, excuse me, from Honig there and before from Kukir. Wow. And records as the Reskers are up 19. I mean, a 20-point game, that's really rare for high school basketball, I feel like. I mean, this is definitely not expected coming in this game. The, the, the Cardinals are just, yeah. they're just falling they're apart. Just, they are, and Staples is taking advantage of their opportunities, forcing the Cardinals to take a timeout. But wow, what a start to the second half for the record. For real. And Zajac, Gavin Rothenberg's got five points in the second half. And those steals and finishes, those those are huge for the record. You don't see very many steals, oh, especially yeah. in, in high school basketball. And two in a row, that is that is just phenomenal for the record. And also uh, on the other side of the court for the Cardinals, Fajan. He's still playing great. I mean, he's, he's hit a three so far, and he's had a bunch of nice... Nice uh, drives to the hoop as well. Yeah, he, he's really been he's really been their whole offense in this game, as as he's he has <laughs> the majority of their points thus yeah. far. Yeah. So uh, we'll see uh, if if if, if they the can, can if they can maybe around. spread it out, try yeah. to try to score a little more, just not just uh, phasing on the offensive end. Maloney now taking it up for the Cardinals. Honig with a high press here. As Maloney is going to drive into the middle, kick it out to Fajan. Fajan out on the elbow, puts one up, no good. Rebounded by DeLuca, who's back in. Maloney out to Welgum at, at the top of the arc for three, no good. Zajac on the rebound. Sale now moving it down the other direction. Honig at the top of the key, pins it down to Zajac, and a great layup from Zajac. Excellent pass from Honig there. He's really been uh, setting the table for the offense. Excellent. And excellent footwork there from Zajac. You can tell he works on his footwork and his craft as he just demolished. As Kevin Rothenberg gets the steal, driving down, passes it off to Sale, and he misses out of bounds. Wreckers ball. Once again, though, a steal yeah. for the record. But as you were saying, Zajac he got the ball, he posted up, he grabbed the ball up top, brought the ball down low, did a nice pivot around his man, and put it right up in the hoop. As Quick he and has, easy. He has 15 points already, and it is still the third quarter. And As there he, he puts it up again. Put on another two for Zajac there. Honig with the inbound just straight to Zajac. Zajac's taller than every guy on this court right he now. Is. So he just reaches up, grabs those passes, and puts it, puts it right in. As Fajan now, the key offensive player for the Cardinals, is going to get fouled by Honig on a reach there. Yeah, and that's a mismatch right there for, for the Cardinals. Faison, a good amount. You know? A, a, a very, very t much taller than, than Honig, and Honig kind of forced a foul in there. You know, while Faison is taller, though, I do feel like that's a good that's a good uh, matchup because I think Honig's definitely fast, and Faison's definitely, fast, yeah. too. And I think it all comes down to the speed in that matchup right there. Kukier diving for a loose ball as it goes out of bounds. And you love to see that yeah. from Kukier, the hustle. That just shows what type of team the the Wreckers are, and what how how well of a job Dave Dave Coach Dave Goldshore has done for them. You know, really yeah. setting setting the, the the overall the toughness and the, the discipline for this team. You, you know, speaking you love coach, to see that. Speaking from of team. Coach Goldshore, I think something he's done great is build the culture too, which is definitely huge. Carson now up top for the Cardinals, guarded by Udell. One on one now. Off to Brown. Brown into Quinn. Quinn back up to Carson. Now Quinn on the block with Zajac on his back. He's going to look to get a pass off. Looks like he's going to get fouled there. Looks like he's going to be inbounding the ball here. It's going to be Carson on the inbound on the right of the hoop. Greenwich yeah. in the box formation here. Looks like they're going to run a play. Parks looking to get open. No Greenwich players open. He's going to have to rainbow it off to Brown. 
Parks now on the arc, driving into the paint. Contested by Rothberg, but he's going to make it. That's a great shot from Parks there. Yeah, and Connor Parks getting his first two points of the game. That's that's big for him as as he finally gets on the board. There is a great drive from him. Zajac now looking it back up into Quinn, and he's just going to put that up. He's going to get a foul on his way up from Quinn. Yeah, typical Zajac. Uh, typical, and, and Zajac there doing a great job using utilizing his speed to his advantage. Obviously, Jack Quinn is the bigger guy, but... But Zajac is, is much faster, and he, and he got to the hoop right there drawing the foul. Zajac missing that free free throw, excuse me, and it's going to be 43-22. to 22. Wreckers up by 21. Wow. Two minutes wow. and 30 seconds to go. Yeah, and we finally saw Zajac miss a free throw. Uncharacteristic from him. He puts one up. There oh, he goes. Puts it up. There he goes there again. There it is. Yep. That second free throw for him goes. Carson now driving in. He's going to put up a three, no good with a step back there. Zajac on the rebound off to Sale. Sale over to Adele. Adele a little contested there as he tries to drive in. Zajac oh. puts up a three, stopped by Quinn. Zajac now gets recovery, though. He's going to put it off to Clacco. Back to Sale on the top right corner of Staples' is half here as he drives, or Greenwich is half. Udell now with a travel there. He went for the little fake. He tried to tried to do that little uh, jab step. Yeah. It looks like he lifted up one of his other foots and then one of his other feet. Excuse me, geez. And then he uh, <laughs> got the got the travel call there. Yeah, you know Zajac, you don't see that very often as um, as he got absolutely stuffed on that yeah. uh, on that that three pointer. But a great play there from uh, Twin. Luca now on the box. Over to Parks. Parks with a three from the corner. No good. It's going to be Elliott on the rebound. No good again. Out of Udell. Taking the ball up for Staples. Over to Sale. Over to Smith. Udell at the top left corner of the key. Looking to put it up. No good. Fajan with the rebound. Taking it down the other way. Over to Carson. Carson in the left corner. He's going to drive through. Fake out Zajac a little bit. Pass it out to DeLuca. DeLuca fumbles the ball. But it recovers. Now Parks. Parks off to Carson. Carson for deep three. No good. Zajac on the rebound. DeLuca contesting him there a little bit. Yeah, he was. And, and DeLuca, he has gotten a couple offensive rebounds this game. Uh, yeah. Making, making Zajac work for that for that rebound. But nonetheless, he did come down with it. Clacko now at the top of the arc for the Wreckers. Over to Zajac. Now sale. 50 seconds left to go in this third quarter. Wreckers up by 22. Sale. Top right over to Clacco. Just really just going in a circle here. Yeah. You're going between Sale, Udell, and, and Clacco. And why not? Why not? There's no shot clock. Might as well find your Clacco, best shot. Clacco looked to find Sale on the inside there. Sale's just going to take it right back out here. Well, it looks like there might be a shot clock. Ref kind of signaling there. Nope. Clacco over to Sale. Clock now 20. That's 30 seconds burned on the clock by the Wreckers there. And, and they're in no rush here as they're just trying to shoot clock, maybe get down to the last shot. Clacco just out dribbling his man. He's going to look to drive in. He's just going to dish it out to Sale. Sale for deep three, and it's good. Wow, Sale from another area code shot. right there. As, Carson. That is exactly what they did. Just like I said, chewed down the clock, found the open shot, and it paid off for the Wreckers. Another deep three from Cody Sale. Wow, what a shot. I mean, they really just, in going in that circle, they just, into wore, the, they just wore out their defenders. Yes, they Sale did. Sale had a wide and open. Clacko, yeah, yeah Clacko did a great job getting past his man with those that great those, those great handles and, and finding Cody Sale. Man, what a shot to end that set, that third quarter as Staples is up 25 points. What a performance crazy. so far. Just just six points in that second quarter, though, for the Cardinals. As as Faison has really been the only guy that that's been putting up that's been that's been uh, he's really been their their only source of offense. Yeah, and they just haven't found anything. Adam Carson, their their best player, just has been off this game. Yeah, it, it hasn't been their, not performing. Their game. It hasn't been his game, and obviously you got to give credit to the Staples defense as well. Yeah, hundred percent. As, as their game plan has been just working to perfection. They, they knew exactly what they were doing coming oh, into yeah. this game, and, and, and they have been executing it to perfection. Now, Cody, i got to ask you, 
Is there any chance for Greenwich in this game? Let's be real here. I'm I'm not I'm not denying that. The, you know, it's tough because it's 25 points. I don't know. I don't want to say anything. I'm 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 saying there there's maybe a slight chance, but Got it. I yeah. don't know. No, 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 I don't I know. 25 agree. points. That's I think that's, that's valid. a pretty wide margin, but. You know, I think that's valid. I mean, yeah. it's high school basketball. Anything it can is. happen. Anything can happen. Yep. But only, then again, only eight minutes though. They only got they only got eight that's more. A good point. Eight minutes to score twenty five points. That's going to be very tough for them. Oh yeah, Zajac now at the Cardinal logo dishes it off to Honig. Sale now at the at the logo. Looks like they're going to try this circle again, just with Honig, Sale, and, and, and Zajac. And why not? If if yeah. the Cardinals aren't going to, you know aren't going to be able to do anything about it, then why not just chew the clock? I mean, it seems like this is kind of strategy from Coach yeah. Bolchor here. Just kind of run out the clock. Taking I mean, advantage of no shot clock. Yeah. And Sale's going to look to drive it in a little bit. He just dishes it out right there. That's an offensive foul from Sale. Yeah, wow. good, good job from Connor, Connor Parks drawing that charge. Yeah. From Sale, but... Then again, Staples did shoot 36 seconds of clock. That's 36 less seconds for the Greenwich Cardinals to try to make a miraculous comeback in this game. Carson now taking it up for the Cardinals. A little miscommunication there between Faison, but it's all good because he's going to dish it off to Parks. Maloney now in the paint. Carson, top left of the key. Faison shoots for deep three. It's good. Drains that one from another area code. That was an incredible. Incredible shot. That was a contested deep three for Faison. And he's really, like I said, been their only source of offense. As Sale gets fouled in the backcourt. You know, Remember, I think... Matthew Maloney draped all over. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think what we got to see from Greenwich in the future, maybe in other games, or uh, just in general, that what would have kept them in this game was, I think, Maloney, Parks, and Carson stepping up a little bit more. Yeah, I think definitely. Faison They're has just been the entire offense, and I think... That, that's, that, that, yeah, that can't happen. It, it hasn't worked out. He, it, no one else has has more than four points, maybe, as as they get the ball back. But Udell steals it right back. Yeah, Welcome got a steal. Udell and stole he gets it right fouled. back. Or, He's going to get fouled. Yeah, excuse so. me. Maybe not a foul. Maybe it might have been a travel from Udell Not there. sure what the, the ref signal there. Maybe a travel, but it looks like. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be an on-the-floor foul. Looks yep. like the Wreckers are going to get an inbound yep, here. And it, nope. The Cardinals getting an inbound. Oh, uh, not sure what might have been a travel. There. there may be a travel. That's that's all I can think of. But nonetheless, Cardinals got have the ball. Maloney inbounding. Maloney lobs it up to Fajan. Fajan with a spin move on Udell steps back, throws it up, no good. Zajac tips it out to out to Sale for the rebound because DeLuca was contesting Zajac on that rebound. But Maloney's going to get the steal. He's going to take it up. Udell on his back as he's falling down. He puts it up. No good. Great hustle from Sale there to, sail there to get back but to Beijing defend. But Fajan getting the offensive rebound. Fajan getting the offensive rebound. Kicks it off to Carson. Carson puts up a three. No good. Udell now darting down the court for the Wreckers. Off to Sale in the corner. Sale driving the baseline. Puts it up and one. Once again, classic Cody Sale there. As as he's just driving the basket, it's too easy for them for him at the end one. Wow, what a performance from Cody Sale and Chris Zajac. Really dynamic duo oh, yeah. for this record squad. 100%. They're both big drivers. They, yes. They're really good when they get the ball. They just drive it straight into the hoop. And it's huge for the records. Sale now, big free throw, guys. He puts one up, and it's good. Sale with a three-point play for the records right there. Carson sets the table for the Cardinals. Dishes it over to Maloney. Maloney driving to the elbow. Gets stuck there by Rothberg. Dishes it out to Faison. Faison with looking for the low pass to Carson. Intercepted by Kukier. Yeah, Kukier, great job on the defensive end. I, I like how he's playing in this game. Yeah. You know, maybe maybe not popping off the stat sheet, but we see that hustle 100%. earlier. And great job tipping the ball out there. Just overall, great performance. Every player on the record. You know, just because he's not scoring, just because he's not making those crazy plays does not mean he is not huge for the records. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. As the records get the ball back after a... 
A bad inbound from the Cardinals. Udell, running point for the Wreckers. She dishes it off to Clacko. Clacko driving to the box. Contested by Maloney. Dishes it out to Sale. Now Udell at the free throw line. Off to Clacko. Clacko with the Cardinals logo now. Sale. On the right side of the court. Over to Zajac on the left. Clacko on the left now. Wreckers whip it around. Clacko gets wide open drive. And Clacko, once again, we saw that earlier in the game from Clacko. But basically what he did was yep. as he was driving down to the block, he takes a stop. And that completely fakes his defender out. And then as his defender goes for the block, he oh, steps yeah. right up, puts his hands up, and the defender has no choice but to hit him. That's a foul. Clacko's going to get to shoot too. Yeah, doing a great job faking out the defense. They know he's a sharpshooter and getting to the rim, drawing the foul. As he hits the first free oh, yeah. throw. Not a surprise there at all. Wreckers up 25, score 51 to 25. Doubling, doubling the uh, Greenwich points here with five minutes left to go in the game. Carson now dishing it off to Fajan. Fajan for three, air ball. Rebounded by Maloney. Kicks it back out to Fajan. Fajan's gonna drive in this time instead. Nice layup, not gonna go. Zajac rebound. Sale now crossing the half court line. You finally hear the Staples student section there. Yeah, as uh, Sale though, bad pass. Yeah. I haven't seen that too much though from the record. He's definitely tired. I mean, I'd oh, say yeah. Sale's played yeah, Sales all, played. if not maybe subbed out for two minutes in this yeah. game. It, he looks a little frustrated maybe, but yeah, Sale and Zajac really have played the majority of the game, for sure, as they usually do. Maloney in the corner for three. It's good. Drained by Maloney. Great shot there. Some good ball movement. Yeah. Some good ball something, movement. They, something we haven't seen too much from, from the Cardinals. Yeah, they whipped they, it around the arc They found there. the open shot, yeah. Sale now. Left corner of the arc. Kukier. Now Woodell. Smith, Wreckers just whipping it back and forth around the arc. Clacko, Sale on the right side. Sale drives toward the free throw line, dishes it back out to Smith. Once again, Wreckers just focusing on that ball movement. I would almost say they're using this as a practice. Yeah, it looks like an offensive foul there on Adam Udell. Interesting call, maybe a little push off. Yeah, but you know, Adam Udell's a physical player. He's a he big is. guy. Uh, he's big on defense. He's, he's definitely got some elbows, you know. Oh, yeah. For sure. Four minutes to go here. Wreckers up 24. As Carson drives down into the middle. Fouled on his way up by Adam Udell. Nice draw of the foul there from Carson. Something we, to shoot once too. again, something we haven't seen very much in this game. Carson yeah. getting to the free throw line right now. Is he sitting at just four points yeah. so far in this game? Carson steps to the line. You know, I got to mention, Greenwich student section over here is absolutely massive. They fill all the way up to the back of the bleachers. Yet, I've heard the Staples, Staples team more. Definitely. And, and, and that's, 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 that's what happens when you're down by yeah. 23. Exactly. As uh, Carson hits both free throws there. Putting Udell. his goal to six. Udell gets a little tripped up as he's taking it up for the Wreckers. Kukier falls down. Players tripping up all over the court here. Sale to Clacko in the left corner. Clacko to Sale. A little 2-2 there. Sale tries to hit it off the foot. No good as Welgum's going to take it down. Dish it off to Carson. Carson for three. No good. Rebound by Elliott. He's going to put it up for two. Nice easy bucket for Elliott there if he gains that rebound. You know, Elliott's now the tallest guy in the court. Chris Zajac subbed out. Yep. Elliott's definitely got a few inches on all, the, all these Staples guys. Definitely. It looks like maybe for Staples, either Caleb Smith or Ethan Kukier is the tallest guy on the court for them. Yeah. As ball gets hit out of bounds, stays with the Wreckers. 3-0-3 remaining in this game. Staples up 20 points. Yeah. They're I mean, inbound right now. You look out on the court right now, you got uh, Elliot Staple, who's 6-7. You got Caleb Smith, the tallest guy for the record, is only six one. So he's definitely got yeah, half definitely, a foot, half a foot on. Him. And and I I'm looking for him to maybe take 
advantage of that right now as, as he is by far the tallest player on the court. Three minutes to go here. Maloney puts up a three, no good. Maloney gets his own rebound, great hustle there. Ball's gonna go down, it's a battle on the floor, jump ball. It's gonna stay down here with Greenwich. Once again though, great hustle from the Wreckers. Can we see Caleb Smith diving on the floor? Yeah. We've seen that a couple times now in this game and they're just, they're just, they're not letting up. They're up 20 points, 247 remaining. They are not letting up. Well, Maloney, after the inbound, just gains the inbound right on the block, puts it up, easy layup. Low key, Greenwich having a little bit of momentum, gaining some ground here. Yeah, but maybe a little too little too late. Oh yeah, 100%. For the Cardinals, yeah, as, as Staples is just gonna try to chew some clock here, passing it around as, as we saw before, passing around the perimeter. 52 to 34, Wreckers winning. With two minutes, 15 seconds left to go, Zajac is gonna get fouled on the floor, he's gonna shoot two. Or shoot one, excuse yep, me, one, one on one. one. Yeah, they're in the bonus. See if he can get his. It, it, see if he can get his 19th and 20th points oh of the gosh. game. Zajac, he's gonna go up for 19. There's, there's his 19. See if he can hit 20 in this game. As it looks like Staples wow. is gonna put in. Give him the shot gonna, though, please. Yeah, let's, give him let the him, shot. let's let him hit the they're 20 ball. Empty the bench though. Putting in Staples some, bench coming out. We got. We got Ty Levine out there. We got Ryan Norley, Nick Sikorski, and Mason Tobias. Zajac puts it up, he gets the 20. And the Staples student section going crazy right now. Staples up 20 points as Dude, they are just feeling it tonight. As a Staples student, you love to see this. The whole love bench out there on the court oh, yeah. right now. Ty Levine guarding Maloney. And the Maloney. starters love it. The starters oh, love yeah. it when they get when when they get their guys that work so hard in practice out on the court, and and that's a credit to them. And that's culture right there. That is. As a staple looks to go up for a quick three. Ty Levine, fellow WWPT student, taking it up at the Greenwich logo. And looks like a little foul there off the ball. Off ball. Yep. Maybe, uh, I believe, on number three, Connor Parks. Or, excuse me, looks like an offensive foul. Yeah, it looks like an offensive yep. foul on Ryan Norley there. Yep. But yeah, Staples putting in the subs. We got Kareem yep. Abuzid out there as well. Great to see that. It really is. Yeah. 100%. And we got another freshman, though, Mason Tobias. He is another freshman sensation for the Wreckers. Yeah. As he... <laughs> He, you know, maybe he doesn't get as many minutes as Clacko, but still on the varsity roster, and that... That's huge. That's, that is huge, for especially for the Rackers' future. Ryan Norley with a high press there, locking up. Looks like he got a reach there. Ryan Norley. Ryland Norley. Correction there. And uh, here's Parks at the line. After that foul, yeah, yep. Greenwich now one and one. Parks taking the shot, and it's going to be good. He's going to get another. <laughs> Parks coming up for another, for another shot here. He puts it up, and it's good. Ryland Norley to inbound for Staples. Greenwich keeping a high press. Yeah, I mean they're not letting up. They they're not they're they're not quitting. Down Ryland. 18 points, minute and a half. They're not quitting though. Norley over to Levine. Abu Zid now at the top of the key. He's gonna get fouled. He's gonna get the chance to shoot. Yep. You know, Cody. Normally here at WWPT, we're down on the court, but today we're up here in the stands. And Looking I gotta like say, I love being in the stands. I love it too. Looking like it's paying off, baby, for the records too. Um, Maybe it's I, good I luck. It. Maybe it is. Yeah. Friday the 13th, bad luck, yep. maybe not. Maybe not. Indeed, as, as Abu Zid is taking his first free throw. And it's good. Abu Zid, another Great big man. Great to see that. Yep. Great to see that. The, uh, the senior Abu Zid getting on the court and making his first free throw. 
As Staple student section singing hey. na 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 goodbye, whatever that song's <laughs> called. I'm not yeah. entirely sure, but it's definitely a big chirping Still song. Still singing it. Man, are they loud. It is great to see the student section. Oh, yeah. Traveling. And they are just, they have, I believe they've been an impact on this game as well. Wow. And, uh, Grunge putting some subs in there, too. That's Mazzullo there. Luke Mazzullo, the senior. Number 33, he goes up, he gets an and one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe maybe some garbage time points for uh, yeah. Greenwich. But I mean, you know, nonetheless. With one minute remaining here, this game Staples yeah, up 56-38. dominated by the records. And the Greenwich student section just slowly trickling yep. out. Misses the free throw there. Ty Levine. Seed with the rebound. Ty Levine at the top. Over to Mason Tobias. Over to Abu Zid. Norley now. Over to Tobias. It's a Korski. It's a Korski to Abu Zid. Abu Zid drives. He's going to get a nice fillet layup, but it's not going to go. Love to see that drive from Abu Zid there. And the now, student section would have loved that. They would have erupted after that point if he had made that. Wow. And Brown's going to get a shot. No good. Goes out of bounds. Off the Cardinals. Yeah, off the Cardinals. So. Staples going to get a chance here. Or, excuse me, off the Wreckers. Yep. <laughs> Sorry about that. Cardinals <laughs> ball. Good. Cardinals ball is what I meant. 30 seconds to go. Greenwich moving it around the top of the arc, whipping it around. In, into Staple, off to Brown. Brown goes for another three, his second within like 30 seconds, and he missed it again. Clearly he didn't learn from that first time. <laughs> yep, clearly. As Smith. it looks like Staple's just going to chew the clock out here. Smith at the top. Excuse me, Levine at the top, over to Neurley. And the clock is just going to tick down. The Wreckers came into the Cardinals, Cardinals' nest and absolutely Dominated 56 to 38 was the final score. Well, I mean, man, absolute domination from the records here. Great to see that from the records as they are 7 in 0 on the season. Yeah. What a start to the season, and what a huge win for the records. They came into the Cardinals' nest, as you said, and just dominated 100%. that student set. They did not get phased from that student section <laughs> at all. 20 points for Chris Zajac as he and Cody Sale led the way. Sale was 16. What a performance from the records. Now, before we send it back to Benny in the studio, i got to ask you one thing. Moving forward, what do we got to see from Coach Todd Trimmer and the rest of the uh, and the rest of the Greenwich squad here to, to maybe have more success later down the line in the season? Yeah, you know, they just, they just were sloppy in this game. And what I want to see more from them is getting it to, you know, getting it to their playmakers, Adam Carson, Steven Faison had a great game. He is one of their playmakers. But Dom DeLuca, need to see more from him. He he just didn't have a good, didn't Definitely. have his best game at all. But, you know, I don't know. The Greenwich Cardinals, maybe it was Staples, but they were just phased the whole game. They they never could turn it on, really. Yeah, that's a, yeah. I think that's, that's kind of all it takes is turning it on. Staples just had momentum, yeah. had control, and that'll do it here today on WWPT 90.3 FM. I'm Charlie Scott. Joined here alongside Cody Goldman. We were live here at the Cardinals Nest, and we are signing off. Final score, 56-38. to 38. Benny, take it away.